Hey guys, Mike Tierney here from Princess Auto. Welcome to Tech Tips with Mike T. We're talking about axles. When building a trailer, you always want to start with the axle. Uh, regardless of the style of axle that you're looking for, the axle is the component you want to begin with. Because that's going to set the dimensions, the weight capacities, and the overall look of your trailer. You have different options when it comes to axles. Um, the bench here, we have a what's called a straight axle. Um, they're not actually straight, but we'll get into that later on. So they have a connecting tube from end to end, and you would have that underneath the trailer. You also have another type of axle, which are what we call independent or posiflex, torflex, depending on the brand. So some of the differences obviously are you're not connecting both uh, hubs to uh, a center beam or bar, and it gives you a bit of an independent ride versus a solid ride, and springs and hubs are all connected when it comes to the straight axle. So depending on your style, what you want out of your trailer, selecting your axle based on independent versus straight um, just gives you those different options. So when measuring an axle, it's important to understand you know, the dimensions that you're looking at. When you go and build your trailer, if you didn't select the axle first and get those dimensions, you may have built your trailer too wide, too narrow, um, too heavy, and that's gonna give you all kinds of issues when you come to selecting an axle at Princess Auto, for example. So you wanna make sure that you understand the dimensions of the entire trailer bed, trailer platform, whatever that's gonna look for you, but also understand the dimensions of the trailer axle. So we're gonna show you on how to measure a basic axle. There are different measurements for different axles with drop downs and, and you know, specialty style axles, but for a straight axle, there's just a couple of measurements that you're gonna to need to take. So first off, we need to know the most important measurement is spring center to spring center. So basically you're going to measure where the tabs are um, with a tape measure and find the centers of those. They are going to tell you how wide you need to make your main frame so that your springs can mount underneath that directly to the frame. If they're too short, then you're not gonna have the, the right support underneath. Next, we want to measure hub face to hub face. So we have to just measure a little bit wider and that's important because the overall hub face to hub face, if your tire is sticking underneath the trailer when it's not meant to be, you may get some rubbing um, as you put a load on or as the trailer balances. The last physical measurement is overall length. So the, the complete size. This gives you your complete width because there are certain regulations um, depending on where you're from. So across Canada, there's different uh, um, regulations, transport regulations, and you may have to add certain equipment to the trailer to be legal to tow on a road. That's your basic way of measuring a straight axle. Now, if you don't get this all right, you know, if you don't measure out your, your, uh, your spring centers to spring centers properly, you may have to build in gussets in your trailer. That's why it's super important to start with the axle. Once you have those dimensions and you get the size of axle that you want to use, you're basically just taking the measurements off of that and that just allows you to line the axles up to the main frames properly without any twisting or adding extra material or rebuilding in some cases your trailer and you'll get a more, you know, more efficient trailer, more efficient way to, you know, to produce a trailer and to, to really allow you to select the right components the first time without having to go back and forth to the store to refit something. So the next step after selecting the axle is your accessories. So there's a wide range of accessories that are available. Uh, we're just going to talk about a few that you know you may be interested in. So the first one, you got to figure out what type of spring you want. Um, in this case, this is what we call a double eyelet. 
So it has two eyelets and it has a certain amount of leaves. The more leaves you have, typically the more weight capacity you'll have for that trailer. Um, but the kits really are, you know, dedicated to a couple of different models of axles. So if your axle can handle that weight, your leaf spring, just because you go higher on your leaf spring doesn't mean that you're going to gain that capacity. Now you'll need, in this case for the axle, uh, or straight axle, you'll need two leaf springs, one for each side. We also carry another type of leaf spring. Um, it's not what we consider a double eyelet, it's a slipper spring. Um, it loses one of the eyelets and it has a bit of a tang off of the, uh, leaf, the top leaf spring to allow you to have a different mounting system. So it's just an option, one isn't any better than the other, it's just a matter of what type of system you're looking for or replacing. Now to mount the ax or the uh, spring to the axle, uh, the axle is spring assembly, we have what's called ha uh, mounting kits. So we have U-bolt kits. So they have a U. Um, depending if you have a square tube on your axle, you also can get squared off U-bolts. Uh, it also has a plate and some mounting bolts and screws. Um, this allows you to attach your spring to your axle. Now to mount the spring axle assembly to the trailer itself, once you're ready to do that, we also carry hanger kits. You can get individual components of the hanger kits. You can get the kit itself. You can get replacement bolts, replacement bushings. All of those kinds of things are available. Um, this is just one kit that we're, uh, you know, we're representing here. So you have a, a U system and uh, basically you can either weld them or bolt them depending on your assembly. Uh, be mindful though if you are using aluminum for your trailer bed, uh, aluminum and steel could uh, react. So you're going to have to be basically uh, you know, careful by putting rubber bushings in between. But steel on steel, um, basically you can weld on or bolt on. These allow you to put a bolt through and attach to your eyelet of your spring and then underneath your trailer. So lots of different kits available when it comes to our uh, mounting uh, assemblies. Now a little bit of, about you know building your trailer. You know, we always want to be making sure that we're as safe as possible when we're doing this. Now it's not necessarily the safety side of the build, it's more so how you put these components together than making your trailer, you know, uh, roadworthy. So on the axle itself, um, you know, number one safety tip or cautionary tip is the straight axle isn't actually straight. So there is a bit of a bow to it. And uh, it's very important that that bow faces upwards. You don't want to have it crowning down. So what happens is these axles are preloaded. So when you put the axle facing the bow upwards, as you, the load or the weight of your trailer is put on this axle assembly, the tires camber back and forth. And if you put the crown down, that will you know, cause stress on the axle and you're gonna actually wear out your trailer tires very quickly because the camber of them under load will be offset too much and uh, you'll put excess uh, wear onto your bearing assemblies in the axle. So make sure you always have the crown facing up when you install it. Number one, when you put these uh, straight axles in. Now, if you're replacing components, so maybe you want to just replace a hub assembly, uh, maybe a bearing shot on your, uh, your axle, and you're not actually replacing the whole axle, uh, maybe you're making your own assemblies. So there are people out there that want to make their own tubes and then, you know, out of square tubing versus round tubing. We do have um, hubs, stub hubs um, that are available and um, they come in a variety of weight capacities and sizes. 
Um, basically, bolt pattern is kind of one that you're going to be looking at. So the bolt patterns on your, your hub assembly, uh, whether you want a four bolt, five bolt, whatever, six bolt. Um, and on the reverse side, this is the part that would go and disappear into the tube. Um, you really got to take some precise measurements um, because if you get these wrong, because most of the time you're going to start welding these. And if you put too much heat, they can get distorted, they can be unbalanced, and you may start to get a wobble in your trailer, or you'll find that the trailer under load will start to kind of veer out from the vehicle because you're not perfectly square. So just be careful. They're a popular, you know, item for us. Um, you know, you can add these to um, idler hubs for farm implements. You can weld right on the end of a, uh, you know, a, a frame and you can use, you know, um, the, 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 without suspension, you can use this as a, just a wheel assembly. So uh, just be mindful if you're welding on, on, on this, distortion can happen. Just be careful. I would suggest that you get a, you know, a professional welder to weld these on in your, your, your hub assemblies or in your tube assemblies. Um, that way you may eliminate some of the, uh, the issues you'll see once you start going down the road with it, the trailer loaded up. Always check with local bylaws, local transportation laws. Um, you know, towing a trailer um, you know, is a necessity in many cases, but there's a lot of times we have to be very careful of how we design that. In some municipalities or uh, you know provinces, um, you can't just go and build your trailer and use it. You have to maybe get it uh, certified stamped by an engineer. Or in some provinces, like here where we are, you can you know build a trailer, take it down to your uh, your insurance place. They'll give you a uh, a serial number, and uh, you're good to go. But in some provinces, you do have to check to see if you can actually, you know, go and insure that trailer if it's something that you're going to be towing on a provincial or federal highway. The build of the trailer will also depend the weight capacities, um, you know, all of those things, those nuances around that trailer, the height of the trailer, uh, specifically the width, those all take into consideration when it comes to transport regulations. So. You know, if it's too heavy for the vehicles that you're towing with, you may have to get a different class system for your licensing. Um, you may have to have certain other equipment that signify, you know, the width of them. And so be, be mindful that, you know, building a trailer is exciting and, you know, uh, we carry a lot of components for that. But do some due diligence, check into your local bylaws, your local transportation laws, and, uh, you know, do a little bit of research before you start going down uh, the path of building this and then all of a sudden that maybe it's, uh, you know, it's not something that you're able to even use. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in to Tech Tips with Mike T and we'll see you again.